I'm going to year one now because and my bow in here. But I wear this in two days in here. You've worn it twice before. Yeah, I wear it twice. And what have we been singing this morning? Ooh e ah 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 ting tang. What am I being there? Ooh e ah 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 ting on a one to pay. Ooh e ah 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 ting. Hey, 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 nice one, right, you ready for school, Baba? Yep. Let's go. Oh, very musical, aren't you? No, I'm trying to say let's go. Okay. The Harlow literally is a living musical, aren't you, Baba? Everything's got to be song and dance. Let's go to school today. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> So we have a lot of work going on at the moment. I've got a, a proper geezer around at the moment to measure up my windows. How's that looking? Is that all right? <laughs> nice little ad there. Um, if you want a job done properly, do it yourself. That's what I always heard, but um, I can't do it. So I'm, I've got my dad round measuring up the windows. This is all for the kitchen too, actually, because this will be part of the kitchen, but this window, is actually lower than the countertops. So we've got to bring this one up to match the other window. Hey guys, so we have just got back from somewhere really excited. Today we have finally finalized with our kitchen. We have placed our order and fingers crossed it should be all going ahead on the second week of January, which we cannot wait to have in your kitchen. I feel like it's gonna make such a difference. Yeah, we can just get back to sort of normal life. At the moment, we don't really have a hub. The hub that they have here doesn't work, but we told them like, you know, that's fine because we're gonna redo the kitchen at some point. And yeah, everything is kind of like all over the place at the moment. Like, so it had started to work in the kids' rooms about a month ago. It was meant to be done within two weeks, but you know what these things are like? They, you know, it just never really ends up being on the time frame that they give you. So the kids do don't have a room. They're all sleeping in the spare room with Casey. So at the moment, I'm actually sleeping in front of me and then Casey sleeping with the kids. Their clothes are just about everywhere. They're like in our room. The whole way, as we did in the last vlog, we still have four jobs in the hallway. I'm literally like crossing all my fingers that everything's gonna be underway within the next couple of weeks. Well, at least with the kids' bedrooms anyways. Just can't wait to have them in and settled because this is like the main thing that we had in mind when we moved. But just to add on to the work, we're gonna start having some more work done between this week and next week, which is what we're gonna show you now. So I think it'll be good to do like a little tour of things beforehand. And obviously when things are finished, we will show you. Also, can we just talk about how big this little girl is now? You? Like, no, I'm fuming. Why oh, are you hungry? I'm hungry. <laughs> I want my milk really bad. And oh, they're making no. me wait. Right, we'll go make you some milk. I think I'm also actually doing a poo, guys. So. <laughs> That's a lot of information any going on there. Would be nice right now, please, Ma. Okay. Thanks. Let's go give you some milk and then we'll do the tour after. Yo, what's up? So this is what we call the day lounge. The reason it's a day lounge is because we will have a night lounge too, which I'll show you. It's like a cozy like, room. Yeah, like a more cozy one. This is more just like, especially in like the summer months, it's gonna be like when we have people come round and stuff like this. Like we are, yeah. It's not meant to be cozy in here. It's not meant to have big comfy sofas and stuff like that. It's more like, Come round here, you can have a coffee, you're gonna get a nice coffee table. <laughs> like, the telly will not be here anymore. Yeah. TV is actually gonna go into a TV unit, which I don't know if you guys remember the unit that we had at our old house. We absolutely loved it. We're going for something similar, I guess, but on Same a much color. smaller scale. Yeah. So it's gonna be a built in TV, which is gonna be a lot smaller than this one as well. It's actually in the box it's not there. It's a lot smaller, to be fair. This, it, 50 in. I have a hole underneath, uh, like a big box for logs to go in here. Although, I'm going to leave it to a little secret, <laughs> they're never actually going to move from there to there. Because just for decoration it's purposes. It's just for decoration, really. But that's why we're just going to complete that and just leave just it. Just like for that. the aesthetics. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, and then, obviously, like another hole in it for 
like the sky dish, sky dish, sky box, <laughs> and things like that. We're um, gonna have a bigger rug as well. We are, this yeah, rug's not gonna stay rug. here, oh, yeah, and we're gonna that's... have a big coffee table as well in the middle. So that's pretty much the plans for here, right? We're gonna complete it with spotlights as well. Oh, yeah. And all that black stuff that we're gonna be putting into black there, and wood, it's really gonna be matching. Really, well, it's gonna really, really tie in nicely with the kitchen when we get the kitchen done. My dad obviously came around today and measured up some windows and we're gonna get rid of these white plastic ones and get some black aluminium ones. So that would be nice. We're gonna have one there and then one on the other bit of the L shape of the Which kitchen. Which is what we're gonna Once show you now as well. Very soon, like that's literally starting next week. I cannot wait. Not the this, new kitchen, we're just no. gonna have the wall down. We are gonna be losing these covers next week. It's it's just temporary though, it doesn't but, matter. Yes, it's just something we're gonna have to deal with for a little bit. So we can get it's temporary. It's we worth still it. Keep this somehow. This is still gonna stay here. He said. He'll oh, he's gonna knock half of the wall. No, no, no. The whole wall will go down, but we'll just have this like like an island basically in the middle. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yes. Yeah, so That's this, actually great. This wall's gonna be knocked down. Okay. We're gonna be keeping. This is next island, week. Basically. Yeah. And in order to knock this whole wall down, we're gonna have to put have a steel put in. So that's what's happening at next week is this wall's being taken down. She's staring at me, she's going, You best not be getting rid of my milk machine. <laughs> you best not be getting rid and of my And we're gonna milk have machine. a new kitchen in, in January, so keep an eye out for that because I'm so excited we designed it ourselves to me. Yes. All the ideas came from us. Yes. I am very, very, very excited for the kitchen. Should we show what's on the other side of the wall, actually? So we just came out of there, and then here we have double doors, which leads into the old dining room. We do have double doors at the moment, you're right. We will not have double doors for very long. They're gonna be going, and it's just gonna be one wall. So it's Yeah, so one. this side here is gonna be closed up. So then on the other side, we're gonna have like a big mirror, big console table, like as you walk into the house. And then here, like we said, this wall is gonna be going. Don't mind all of these things, the stuff for our utility room, which we'll show you in a minute. But yeah, this is already here. It's gonna be installed tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Well, it's gonna be something put up tomorrow. So after the wall's down, that's bricked up. This is gonna be the other part of the kitchen. Then we have some more double doors. This is the night lounge. In here, We've been through so many different things that we're gonna do. We originally had a sofa basically on order, not on order, but we basically reserved one. And then we realized it doesn't fit <laughs> in the room. It does fit, but it just wouldn't have fitted. It wouldn't have like given like the aesthetic that we wanted. Yeah. And then the aesthetic that we wanted was not this. No. Either. We didn't want a log fire. We wanted we an electric fire an again. Electric fire. We wanted to get TV there. TV up on this wall. Um, but now we love our log fire from the day lounge so much. We it's decided just so cozy. I think we are going to stick with it. Yeah. We're going to get a new one. We want to somehow bring this down if possible. Like we so we can have room. Yeah, room. yeah, we haven't even looked into that, but, but this is the bring idea. This down to like here. Get rid of all this stuff so we can still go with the TV on here above the log fire. Obviously, if possible. It's, it's like a proper one that like, goes into the proper chimney and stuff. I think we can probably get quite a nice big long one in here. We just um, love log fires, don't yeah, we? it's so nice. Uh, obviously, we have a lot of our stuff in here. This is all going to be sorted as well. But the plan for until Christmas is to get curtains there, sofa here, Christmas tree in the corner, TV. Just have it kind of like not to our taste, but just so we can start using it for now, right? Yeah, I'm not so, sure if we're going to put a Christmas tree in here. Yeah. yeah, we don't know. That's the thing. We keep changing minds because, like, we keep trying to book things in. So this is the cozy lounge, which one day we'll come back to this as well once yeah, it's finished. Be... And then through here, oh, no, no, no. Oh, my god, not again. <laughs> this is going to be our future utility room, which we had the spotlights on yesterday. We're having this ceilings plastered. They're gonna be plastered tomorrow. And then we're gonna have this fitted between tomorrow and Friday, right? Oh, hopefully. We're gonna have cupboards. We're also gonna have cupboards at the top, which we didn't have in our old one. We are going for an IKEA kind of unit again, which is what we had in our old house, isn't it? Another exciting thing is that we're gonna have a sink there, which we didn't have in our what old house as well. The exciting thing is that we've got a, a nutcracker in here. Yes, we do have a <laughs> nutcracker in here. And then we also have the view to a garage. 
on the other side and on that garage we have a big nutcracker which used to be by the window but you moved that didn't you? Yeah I moved it, uh, it was getting too dusty where the workers, where the builders were working. Yeah and so... Another exciting thing actually, which yeah. you mention, is the floors. Oh These yeah! These tiles are coming up on Monday next week. These tiles are going to be going next week we're gonna have a little flooring throughout also the ceilings are going to be plastered we're gonna get rid of the texture in the ceiling so it's all going down isn't it it is all going down but yeah we have spent the last few weeks trying to sort of like manage all these things because obviously when you say it or when you show it on camera it sounds very easy and straightforward but you have to like align five i don't know like three different tradesmen we like plumbers to do one thing electric electricians and then you know trying to align everyone uh, manage all these things takes a lot of time so uh, we need to go and pick up lake and hollow well lake from his time on is in hollow from school but before we do that we're actually going to give remy a little bath i kind of like got into this routine of giving her a bath during the day because it gets so cold in the evenings and both hollow and lake get so tired like by the end of the day so it's nice to kind of have a little bit of a moment of just giving her a bath now and she really enjoys it. Goes off for a nap, we do the school run, dinner, etc. etc. However, I think we're gonna go to Katie's mom's house today uh, to have dinner because we really fancy like a cooked meal, don't we? <laughs> Not something off the air fryer or the oven. So I think we're gonna do that after getting hollow. So yeah, Remy, are you ready for your bath? She did get changed as well from the last clip because Casey was right, she was going to the toilet in the last week so I think it was a leak up it was so we're going on to outfit number three now after your bath yeah so i just ran her bath this is also the kids bathrooms which will be redone at some point we haven't really showed you in the, in the talk because we don't know when that's going to happen but i put some of this which just smells so much like babies is so so nice and how cute is this little thermometer that we've got we we'll just put it in the bath and then it tells us if the temperature is good it should be around 37 degrees it will take a little while to warm up it's going up now but i usually try to give it between like around 35 which i think is like not too hot not too cold so hopefully you'll go up two more and then her little bath is ready. Also, can I just say, having a stand for the bath is the best thing ever. We had this bath before with Lake, but it was inside the bath and my back was in bits. Whereas now I feel like I can proper, proper bather. And one more would be perfect. And as you guys would have seen this in the previous kind of renovations updates, our walking wardrobe in the hallway. Just gonna get her some uh, PJs and give her a bath. Got her little PJs ready for after. Oh, you can't really see on the light on this camera, but it's so cute it's from Zara. And now, should we go your change to get you in the bath? Guys, who do we think she's looking like? She really does remind me of Harlow, but she's got like light eyes. You can't see on the camera now. But she's also at the same time a mini Casey. Because like I've always said, Harlow is a mini me with dark features. I you don't think so. You said she is Harlow with light eyes. So if Harlow had light eyes, yeah. You agree now? I don't Harlow agree. Like no, I think Harlow's a mix, and I feel like she looks like a mini you. But then things of her reminds me of Harlow. Like her little nose, she's got Harlow's little nose. You're Remy, after all. You don't look like anyone. You look like yourself, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you do. She's just about to start smiling as well, isn't she? she like she's on the edge. She does, but not like a full-on. You do do smile, don't you? Sometimes. No, Dad, I don't. What are you shouting in my... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> She's angry. We said we don't need excuse an angry me. baby. I said I don't need another Lake. Lake's the angry one. Right, so we just picked up Harlow. She's walked in and straight away picked up her artwork. She has a little art drawer at Nanny's house, don't you? So, yeah, we're at my mum's. She's doing her art. You don't need to draw on the back, Bobby, do you? She's gone and got some sequins out, some flowers. Did I do some adjective and details? You're doing some details? Yeah. Very nice. Hi, Mum. Hello. All right? Yeah, good, thank you. Good? Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, we're all here. We've literally just got here, so Remy is still... She's asleep. Oh, Saf's coming too. I'm going to have to try and wangle either my mum or Saf into a TikTok. Um, I might give you a sneak peek of it. It's going to be the cringiest TikTok of all time. Neve really wants me to do it, but we'll see. 
Oh, what's going on in here? Storybook. I mean, it's got loads of stickers inside. Blake's looking through ferociously now. Like, Where are the stickers? Oh, no. That's why I got them as well. Yeah, no, I don't think there's stickers in this type of book. No. But, Auntie Safi's come in with a with a full full package. Today had had every single person in the fam in the vlog. No, it hasn't. Jed? On your food platter. There he is. How are you? I just said that everyone in the family's been in the vlog and I forgot about you. Then I said, no, he hasn't. Has Dad been in it then? Yeah, Dad was over earlier at measuring oh. windows. Oh, well, I'm about to show you guys my food platter. Ooh. Um, I haven't got my steak in it yet. Because yeah. This is a baby food platter, remember there's only two of us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, no, no, no. Show, show me that again. <laughs> Show him. And a fire alarm keeps going off every time I cook steak. So I couldn't cook steak, so I went next door. <laughs> next door, cook steak. I just asked him if I could get a steak. Why not? Yeah, yeah, I'll get a steak. Wait, what? Yeah. So you. So <laughs> what have you got on the food platter then? Come on, I'm dying. I'm doing nice okay, time. quick, can we see? Because this vlog's oh, going to go on forever. Um, so oh, it, cheese and biscuits with steak. <laughs> Different. Oh, that's cute. That's it's really different. cute. What are you having? You're not having any. What else are you having? I can't eat carbs. I'm on keto. Oh. You said it's for Imogen. Yeah, it is. But I'm Jen. 